Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. Today we're going to continue another segment of our two-handed series and we're going to work on a technique that I call uh, ground, dynamically grounding the whip. Uh, with a long whip, we ground the whip in front of us or behind us in a straight line to set up a throw, whatever throw we're doing. That's with a long whip. Well, when you have a, a short whip that's not even long enough to lay on the ground, how do you ground it? Well, I call it dynamically grounding it because if I let this whip lay straight out in the air, then, uh, and it's dynamic because I'm moving it, then I can use that movement to set up a throw, whether it's on my forehand side or whether it's on my backhand side, okay? Uh, now we're going to practice doing that with, with two whips. One of the other things I use grounding the whip for is if my whip bottom is giving me feedback that they need time to breathe, process energy, they need a little break, I can dynamically ground the whip and I'm just staying in light contact with them during that time that they're processing the energy from a, from a whip strike. So I use dynamically grounding in play a lot, where I'm just arcing the tail. If I was throwing a flogger, you see this done a lot with floggers because we're arcing all of the tails so that they stay together. Well, now we're only throwing one tail, but I'm still using that arcing technique where we're just dynamically grounding it. If I'm going to do that with two hands, then I have to get both of those arcing. And uh, I'm still working on throwing two-handed and talking at the same time. But you get the idea. This is another technique to use with two-handed. And it's also a good technique to practice with because if we, if you remember back a couple videos, I talked about three different types of timing. One was timing together, where you threw uh, both whips almost exactly at the same time. Uh, the other was staggered. Staggered was, you could think of that as a little bit of syncopation. So together timing, they're thrown at the same time and they land almost at exactly the same time. Staggered timing, hear that stagger? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So when I dynamically ground the whip, that allows me to get closer to that graduated timing or distributed timing that we were, we were talking about in the earlier video. For me, distributed timing is a little harder to achieve, and actually working on dynamically grounding the whip is going to get me to achieve that distributed timing much quicker than if I was just trying to jump right into it. So there you have it. Dynamically grounding, whether you're throwing dragon tails or whether you're throwing four foot bull whips, it's letting the whip lay completely out and arcing it and just making light contact with your target or your bottom. And it's going to get us closer to uh, distributed timing than if we just jumped right into two-handed throwing. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.